The annual Martin Luther King Jr. Day events took place at Hopkinton Middle School this past Monday. Despite very cold weather, many volunteers attended to help Hopkinton organizations and various other great causes. So we have National Honor Society who's doing collection and coloring books for the respite center. Um, we have bags for veterans being made. We have cancer bags being made for cancer patients. We are collecting for Marathon School hat mittens, snow pants. Hopkins School, we are collecting zip binders. Um, what other service project? We have um, color a placemat that will go to the surrounding assisted living homes. Um, and so they will get those served with their males and uh, some with uh, males for whales as well. So lots of different kinds of variety of things going on. We have some church groups here as well that are participating. I know one is collecting sneakers for Project Just Because. Um, I think the other one is doing the cancer bags. And despite the very cold weather outside, a great turnout today. Uh, could you just talk about the turnout and how things have gone so far? Yeah, so it's going amazing so far. Um, I am very excited to see the turnout because I did have some <laughs> concerns about the weather but you can't take Hopkinton down so we have uh, so many students that are here helping today we're starting to see a lot of community come in and get involved um, they, everyone enjoyed the storyteller she delayed a little bit for us this morning to allow the community to get in so it's been a great morning so far we're making like Valentine's Day cards for like the veterans in Hopkinton that are like yeah, yeah. Uh, veterans that are overseas and we're gonna send them Valentine's Day cards so yeah. that they won't be that lonely during this Valentine's Day season and just bring a little bit of joy into their world so yeah. Very nice. And are you all in the uh, Girl Scouts? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, what troop are you from? Um, we're Girl Scout Troop 65040. collecting sneakers for Project Just Because, and if anyone comes in, they can um, either bring sneakers or they can donate money and we would purchase the sneakers. Terrific, and um, for those that don't know, could you maybe talk a little bit about what Project Just Because is? Project Just Because is a uh, place in Hopkinton that um, helps people that either have a tragedy happen, like for a fire or something like that, or they help the less fortunate, they get blankets and sneakers and toys at Christmas time for the kids. And uh, one year they collected coats for everyone so that they wouldn't have, wouldn't have to freeze when we had a bad winter. We have a bunch of cards, and um, you can either write them to friends or writing them to family. But we also have them for teachers, so you can write a nice thing about one of your favorite teachers. And we, <laughs> and we also have these posters with a bunch of nice quotes, and you can take uh, people can take one and another poster about what we learned along our journey. So we chose the Amaze journey. It's all about um, friendship, what makes a good friendship, and what determines if your friendship isn't strong. And yeah, so it's been very fun to plan out. Terrific, and um, the Girl Scout Troop you girls from? Six, eight, two, four, three. <laughs> Hi, we're Community <laughs> Service Club from the Hopkins and High School, and we're writing letters to kids in hospitals. So we put out some guidelines for people, but basically the letters just say encouraging messages, trying not to focus on their illness, just more positive thoughts, um, and just sending good messages to them. What else is on the dudes? Um, I'm a senior at Hoppington High School, um, and I'm in the National Honor Society here. Terrific. And what do you got going on over here at this table? So today, um, for MLK Day, is one of our big volunteering events. Uh, we've collected lots of donations, um, whether it's toiletries or other supplies for the respite center here in town. Um, and then with all the volunteers that have shown up today, uh, we've made coloring books um, and cards for um, kids and adults at Milford Regional Hospital. So right now, we're working on some cards. Uh, we're drawing pictures in them and uh, just wishing them a happy day. <laughs> Today we 
start painting the rooms. And and apparently, we love painting these rooms because we get to enhance our creativity. Thank you for letting us know. <laughs> Terrific. And um, what made you want to paint the rooms today? Because this room is like kind of like a jail room. So some people wanted to keep it as a very pretty place, like butterflies and quotes. So I helped paint some of these. And some people, some people did the you are enough, and some some people. This is the second layer of be a pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, stand tall, wear a crown, and be sweet and inside. We're making um, bags and cards for um, patients with cancer to sort of get brighten their day a little bit. Terrific. And are, are you a volunteer or are you an organization? I'm just a volunteer, just somebody who came to the event and wanted to just do something to give back to the community. And we have some uh, other things, I guess. Yeah, some chapstick and stuff and lotion. And then we have socks and the thing, and the big thing. Where are Where did Daddy go? Um, coloring placemats for the senior center and I believe the respite center. So these are placemats we'll send on and they put their name and their age on it and just do a nice cheerful color. Yeah, so we're making these stress-free bottles that you just turn upside down like this and you can put whatever you want in it and that's pretty much it. Alright, just a nice activity for the kids? Yeah, just a nice activity for the kids. They're having fun putting the glitter in these and everything. Okay. And are you a volunteer here today? Or? Yeah, I'm a volunteer with the Hawker Teen Day Commission, which like runs the whole event, so yeah. Storyteller Valerie Tutson presented MLK's legacy of service, unity, and peace. Inspirational speaker and dancer DJ Fidesz spoke and showed off some dance moves. Here we go. Former Buddhist monk Seth Monk hosted Returning to Peace, a mindfulness workshop. And everybody, you're going to listen. Hold on a sec. You're going to listen to the sound of the gong. You're going to close your eyes. And you're just going to listen to the sound. Okay, so everyone close your eyes. The event concluded with a basketball game between the Special Olympics and freshman boys basketball team. It was once again another great well-attended Martin Luther King Jr. Day event at Hopkinton Middle School.